So today, we are changing repeating decimals to fractions, or specifically, repeating decimals that have three digits repeating. So for example, 0 0.5742 with the 742, all three repeating. So it'd be 0 0.5742, 742, 742, 742. Or 0 0.31598 where the 598 are repeating. All right, so if you've seen my previous videos, I've shown you how to change repeating decimals to fractions when one digit repeats with two digits repeating, and now we're doing three digits repeating, and the process is the same with just one minor difference. And I will point out the difference when we get to it. So let's go through the steps. There's four steps to this. Step one, we're gonna write an equation setting x equal to the number we have. So in this case, x equals 0 0.5742, and we're gonna repeat 742, 742, 742, and I like to write it out. I mean, we could keep the repeating bar, but I like to write it out so I can see the number. All right, step two. We are going to take that equation and make a second equation by multiplying both sides by a number. Now, what number? Well, there's a trick to know what number to multiply by. 10 to the power of however many digits are repeating. Now, in previous videos, when we had one digit repeating, we do 10 to the first power. In another video, we had two digits repeating, so we do 10 to the second power. This example has three digits repeating, so we're gonna do 10 to the third power. And 10 to the third power means 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. So what that tells me is I need to multiply both sides of this equation by 1,000. All right, so when I do that, 1,000 times x gets me 1,000x. On the other side, when I multiply this side by 1,000, the easiest way to do it is just to move that decimal over three places. So this just becomes 574.2742742. Remember, the 742 is going to repeat. So when I have the 742 here, I know a 742 is going to follow that, and another 742, 742, and so I'm just going to do the dot, 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 save myself some time. All right. so. There we go, I've got my second equation. Step three, I'm gonna subtract the two equations. So I've got my new equation, I'm gonna take the old equation and put it underneath it, and I'm gonna line things up. I'm gonna line up that x equals, and when I write this number, line up that decimal. So 0 0.5742, 742, 742, remember it's gonna repeat 742, I'm just gonna write that much so it lines up with what I had before. And, like I said before, we are subtracting the two equations. Okay, so when I subtract them, on the left-hand side, 1,000x's minus 1x is 999x's. Drop down my equals. On the other side, when I subtract these, I'll start on the end, Remember, the 742s are going to repeat over and over again on top, and they're also repeating on the bottom. So when I subtract them, they're going to go away. 2 minus 2 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0, 7 minus 7 is 0, and all the other 742, 742s are going to get me zeros. So all of these just become 0, and so the first thing I really need to subtract is right here, 2 minus 5, which I can't do, so I need to borrow. There we go. 12 minus 5 is 7. Drop down my decimal, 3 minus 0 is 3, and then 7, 5. All right, so because we strategically multiplied these both sides by 1,000, it automatically lined up all the repeated digits to, to subtract away. And I'm left with 573.7. And now we're ready for the last step. Last step, solve for x and simplify your fraction. So let's do that. To get x by itself, I need to divide both sides by 999. When I do that, the 999s undo each other. I'm left with x over here. On the other side, remember I want to keep my answer as a fraction, so I'm going to keep it in this kind of format. 573.7 divided by 999 is the same as 573.7 999ths, which is a weird fraction, I know but we're pretty close to our answer. But notice, 
we're not allowed to have decimals in fractions, so we need to multiply the top and bottom so we can get rid of that decimal. And we need to move that decimal point over one spot to make this a whole number, so the easiest way to do that is just to multiply the top and bottom by 10. All right, so when I do that, I get 5,737 5, over 999 times 10 is just 9990. Check to see if you can reduce it, and I'm going to tell you right now, you can't. There's your answer. 5,737 over 9,990. Crazy fraction, I know, but let's do a double check. 5737 seven, divided by 9,990. It should get me 0.5742, 742, 742, 742, and look, 0 0.5742, 742, 742. All right, so we're looking pretty good here. We'll do one more example so you can see it, and this one's a little bit harder than the first one. All right, here we go. 0 0.31598598598598. Step one, write out our equation. X equals this number. 0 0.31598598598. Du, du, du. All right. Step two, we are going to make a second equation by multiplying both sides by, since three digits are repeating, 10 to the third power, or 1,000. So I need to multiply both sides by 1,000. All right, when I do that, 1,000 times x is 1,000x. On the other side, a, multiplying a decimal by 1,000 means move that decimal over three places. I end up getting 315.985. Nine, eight, okay. And if you look really carefully, there's our repeating digits, five, nine, eight, five, nine, eight. And it'll just keep going. All right, we're ready for step three. Step three, take our new equation and subtract our original one from it. Okay, so I'm gonna take the original one. I'm gonna line things up when I write it underneath. There's my X, there's my equal. When I write this one, I'm going to line up the decimal. The decimal is way over here, so 0 0.31598. And remember, 598 is repeating. So it's 0 0.31598, 598, 598. It'll be 598 forever after that. OK? So I've written that out. Remember, we're subtracting, so I'll write the subtraction there. Let's see what we get. 1,000 x's minus 1 x is 999 x's. On the other side, because look, the repeating digits are all going to line up. See the 598 on top matches up with the 598 on the bottom, and 598 is going to go on forever afterwards, so those are just going to subtract out to get 0. All right, even after these, okay? Until we get to this point, 8 minus 1 is 7, 9 minus 3 is 6, jot down my decimal. 5 minus 0 is 5, and then, of course, the 3 and the 1 there, okay? So again, because we strategically multiplied both sides by 1,000, those repeated, repeating digits all matched up when I subtracted them, and so I'm left with no more repeating digits anymore. We're almost done. Step 4, solve for x, simplify your fraction. So let's do that. To get x alone, we need to divide both sides by 999. Okay, so when I do that, the 999s undo each other. X drops down, equals drops down. And remember, we want our answer as a fraction, so I'm going to keep it in this form. 315.67 over 999. But, I mean, it's an ugly fraction, but we can make it a little bit better because we're not allowed to have decimals in our fraction. In this case, to make this a whole number, we're going to move that decimal over two places. So we need to multiply the top and bottom by 100 to move that decimal over two spots. So when we do that, 315.67 becomes 31567, because I moved that decimal over two spots, over 999 times 100 would be 99900. Whew. And this is our fraction. And to check to make sure I'm right, we should plug it into the calculator and see. 
three one five six seven divided by nine 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 zero zero. It should get get me point three one five nine eight five nine eight five nine eight five nine eight. Look at that zero point three five nine eight five nine eight. And well, it would keep going, but of course it doesn't fit on the calculator. All right, so. That's the process. Now notice, with this many repeating digits, you really have to work carefully and neatly. You have to make sure those digits kind of line up when you write it out, so that way when you subtract them, you're subtracting the right digits from each other, okay? So work really carefully when you're doing these. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe, because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.